Hello guys, how's it going? Whitestorm here from the Royal Air Force Gaming Network and today we're playing some Valheim coming to you live and recorded from Ascension Island in the middle of the Atlantic. I've been deployed here for four months so uh, hopefully we'll get a couple of games in. Uh, it certainly won't be anything to do with tanks or any live gaming but it'll be single player games uh, kind of stuff that I could do as and when I've got time in the evenings. Um, Internet is a no-go here, so if I can get this posted out, this is going to really be a test of my abilities to see what I can do uh, with very limited resources. So anyway, here we are in Valheim, and we're going to take on the Eldar. Uh, basically, he is grouped, and I have uh, gone into this completely cold. Um, like I say, don't have the ability to watch YouTube videos. Um, and when I upload this, it will literally be at night time. Uh, on my less than one meg line uh, and hopefully it won't take all night and hopefully it won't go into the times when it will cost me money so I have a fine bow upgraded to level 2 I think uh, I have some brass, uh, brass I have some bronze uh, armor and a troll hide cape uh, I've got fire arrows loaded because he is grouped and trees burn so that's my thoughts behind it and very quickly I realise, as I record this, that um, these little tentacle things disappear pretty quickly. It's got a, a, a ranged attack that kind of spreads out and you can kind of hide behind these columns and they won't hit you. Uh, unless you're a bit shaky on the old WASD. So I just kite him around a little bit, no messing around. Just kite him around, avoid him as much as possible, keep him at range. Uh, and just keep shooting him. Uh, it's going to take me a good five minutes I reckon to get that health bar down uh, and you'll notice that I've got quite a decent health bar myself and that's because on the way here I was attacked when I crossed the ocean to this location from my home base I was attacked by a couple of sea serpents so what I did is I took all of the stuff across the ocean with me to create a portal and I defeated the sea serpents and was able to then make some sea serpent stew this stew basically uh, and I figured out that if I ate that I'd uh, be rather healthy which is smashing uh, so I did that and I got loads of health of course it's going down a little bit now because um, I'm getting shot at but we're okay because the regen on it's pretty handy it goes up pretty quick um, I just had to refill my food there because I've run out whilst I ran to this location. Uh, and the tentacles are spread out uh, quite nicely, so they're not hitting me, but they are quite close. I'm able to continue to rain down the fire of death, which is absolutely brilliant, and he's not going to get me. Um, I'm not sure how much of my shots are actually hitting. Um, I feel like most of them are, but I'm trying to only aim and fire fully charged shots. Uh, to do the most like, efficiency. I've only got about 120 arrows with me um, and they're all fire arrows, I didn't bother taking any different ones cause, uh, because I kind of like the, the fact that I can see where the tracer is going with the arrows. Um, I'm sure that strategy will change when I go to the next boss. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of uh, figuring out on how to do that. But This is the first time I've done this and I think I'm doing alright. He's down to half health. It took me about two and a half minutes there, looking at the time frame here, to, uh, to get him down that far. Um, There's probably much better ways of doing this, but I think this is the most fun way for me. Keeps me engaged, excited on the night time, uh, shooting away at Groot. So, easily does it, taking him down. That is uh, some pretty cool effects though, considering I'm just running this on my little old laptop. And here come the tentacles again. So, I think it would be nice if the fire damage stacked or something like that. I mean, I don't understand how, how he's putting it out so quickly. Or maybe I'm just not hitting him enough. Oh, just got smashed by a tentacle. That seems to take a bit of uh, stamina as well. And you'll notice as well, I've got some mead with me. Some stamina regen mead. Um, I had that just in case. Um, I need to run away very quickly, basically. Because um, you can use it once. So... And obviously, using your your weapons, drawing on that pull, on that uh, that bow is going to slow. It's going to take some some effort. So I have it just in case I, I need to fire in rapid succession and, and panic and, and run away like a crazy. 
but it seems everything seems to be working quite nicely here. I'm just going to dodge these tentacles whilst they find out where they are. And it, you know, looking from that again, it looks like there's a bit of a lag between when he shoots his uh, ranged attack to when uh, to, to when I, I can think I can run faster than it. And I don't know if that's because of the troll high cape or or just because I'm very quick on the W key, but uh. Yeah, it seems that I can actually outrun his attack, so maybe that's something but, but, uh, worth bearing in mind. But for the time being, the columns, keeping them between me and him and shooting around them, like good old-fashioned Call of Duty style, seems to be working quite nicely. So, just less than a quarter left. And it looks like he's, uh, he's coming for me. There we go, taking a bit of mead. That's going to help with the regen just to touch. Yes, I can wrap run them. That's great to see. So, yep, I don't even need to clear out the, uh, the tentacles. They're, they're not affecting me at all. So I can just keep shooting away at this big fella. Uh, you know, it's just a case of uh, spending five minutes and doing it, really. Uh, so I did receive a message from one of my good friends that I could... Uh, create a fire and I could, could dig some holes and, and do all that. I didn't know how to do that. I couldn't watch a video of it. So I just thought, you know what? If fire seems to work. Then uh, we'll just use fire arrows. Happy days. No need to mess around and do all the prep work. So I believe uh, the whole point in this is to unlock the next boss. Um, I don't know what that entails, but but we're going to give it a go, just go into it nice and fresh and there we go, the Elder was defeated happy days, just wait for these tentacles to disappear um, there we go, they start to disappear there, perfect and there's a little explosion of purple smoke so let's go and see what he's got for me okie dokie, we've got a trophy, a key, happy days and some carnage from where he died. Happy days. So, I will uh, off camera go and stick the trophy down and uh, keep the key on me. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, this has been White Storm signing off. See you in a bit.